This is the Aston bike. I will now show you how to assemble it. Here are the bike's parts. Wheels, elements of the frame, handlebars, manual. Seat canopy, handle for parent, seat size and accessories. Let's start with the rear wheels. Slide the wheels into the recess in the frame until you hear it click into place. The same for the other side. The next step is to attach the mudguard to the fork. Important, the notch on the mudguard should be on the front. To do this, use the screw supplied with the bike. Now remove the screws from the fork and connect the fork to the front wheel. Slide the fork onto the plastic pins on the front wheel. Next, connect these components by tightening the fixing screws on both sides. Join them together. Remove the screw from the fork, slide the frame onto the fork with the front wheel. Press firmly into place. Now it's time for the handlebars. Attach the bell to the handlebars. Slide on the cover. Slide the handlebars into the frame and connect these two elements with a screw. Tighten the screw and slide the cover downwards. The next step is to fit the cables. You can see a hole at the front of the fork. Insert the cable into the hole, run it along and attach to the recess at the back. Tighten the screw. This is how you should connect the child's and the parent's handlebars. Now we will attach the seat base. Slide it onto the tab in the frame with the wider part at the back. Let's move on to fitting the seat. Fasten the lock on the cover at the back of the backrest. Insert the sides into the openings on both sides of the seat and then turn them to lock them into place. Slide the padding of the crotch barrier on the side rails. We will put the seat so assembled on the frame. There is a footrest underneath on the bike's frame. Slide the grey sleeve downwards and bend the footrest to the front. Now put the seat onto the seat base. Now it's time to attach the canopy. Slide it into the slots at the back of the backrest. Here they are. And now lock it into place by lowering both levers. Secure the safety belts by attaching the hooks to the canopy frame. Basket. Attach it at the back of the bike using this fixing screw. Adjust the position of the basket and tighten the screw. Now the parent handle. It comprises these two parts. Simply slide the upper part into the bottom part and connect them like this. There are two openings for choosing one of the two height options. Attach the handle to the back of the bike by sliding it into this tube until the silver pin clicks out. Attach the mug holder by sliding it onto this component on the parent handle. And adjust the position of the holder here. Fasten it with hook and loop fasteners. Your Aston bike is ready for use. Just unfold the canopy and the sides. To change the direction of the seat, unscrew the nut under the frame, adjust the seat and tighten the nut again. Similarly, you can move the seat backwards and forwards. Before the first walk, adjust the length of the baby straps. Set up the footrest for younger children. And we lock the pedals in the front wheel. The footrest can be hidden for older children. The wheel will turn independently of the pedals. If you unlock the wheel, your child will be able to pedal himself or herself. When your child grows up, Aston bike can be easily converted into a regular bicycle. To do this, remove the canopy, the parent handle, the seat sides and the cable, and a bicycle for your older child is ready to go. That's all about the Aston bike.